Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back. I don't know why I'm doing a little dance, but apparently I'm in a dancing mood. Welcome back to a Zara haul. She may be a slightly small looking parcel, but she is pretty ramo jammo, jam packed with loads of Zara clothes. I don't know what's wrong with me today, to be honest. But we have a Zara haul. It'll be a charm haul as always. Everything will be linked down below. This box is actually getting incredibly heavy because like I said, I'm actually starting to get to my nerves in this intro. I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna get on with the Zara haul. We are gonna start off with this, which is one of these pieces. Why is the light? so funny today I don't know that might work okay is that gonna be better have I made this worse I think I've made this worse back to where we started okay this is a piece that's actually been out for a while and I don't know why I didn't pick it up earlier but like I saw it was like meh kind of thing then I saw it and someone on Instagram decided I actually really liked it and therefore I then ordered it and it's this like trench coat style top type thing and I feel like there was a phase where Zara brought out like Items of clothing that were like a trench coat, but not a trench coat. Does that make sense? Like there was a skirt, there was this top, there was a pair of trousers. I ordered everything but this. Why am I telling you my life story about this top? I don't know. Basically, I saw this top, I liked it. That is all we really care about. Um, She looks like so. It has like this belt on it that kind of cinches in. And then it's this like strapless top. And it kind of looks like a pair of trousers because it's got like the belt loops kind of round the front you know like the waistband on our trousers but actually it's on the top which i quite like and this i got in an extra small and for reference i'm five at five and i'm a size six and that is that top we have spoken about her enough now i feel like then we will move on to i don't know what to move on to i feel like this lighting looks really weird today and i don't know why but it's really starting to throw me off we'll move on to this because it's a little bit like not my style but i'm excited to try this it feels like i've just got to a festival and i'm i'm, rub I'm, I'm unraveling my tent to put it up like it literally feels you know what i mean like a tent material but it's this like shell suit cargo style jumpsuit which i thought was quite cool so this i got in an extra small it's like this a crew like creamy sort of color and then it looks like okay she's gonna sit like this we'll obviously see this better in the triangles but it's like a kind of you know you can see the little v-neck kind of t-shirt not t-shirt like a little v-neck jumpsuit type thing it has this belt on it that you can like really cinch in and then it like goes down like this and then the back is quite i'm scared to mess up my hair the back is quite an open back like it's quite a low down back and it's got this like elasticated adjustable little like you know, like a little cagoule. You know when you were at school and you had like those little waterproofs with these little toggles on or like the little school fleeces. This is what that reminds me of. So you've got that to adjust it. And then you've got some pockets in the back and you've got like cargo style pockets in the front. And it's just this big piece of tent like material that's really hard to hold up and show. So we will see that better on the trial clips. But for like a festival or something, get out your tent and then like put this on and you feel like you're wearing your tent. I feel like it's quite cool or like, I don't know, I feel like I started the right way with some nice like chunky trainers, sunglasses, maybe like hair in like a messy updo bun type thing. Like this could be quite a nice like going out for the day sort of out for like a daytime. I feel like it's quite cool. I feel like this, I've, this has got potential and I'm struggling to explain what I think the potential is, but it's definitely got potential. Then we're gonna go, oh, I don't really, oh, we'll go, mm, no, we'll go with this next, which is a little bit different. This is a little bit more like mumsy, kind of casual, more my style, although my style's not mumsy and I'm not sure why I throw that word, throw, threw that word in there, but it's this V-neck, just like really baggy oversized dress. And I love dresses like this. I have a few of them that are just like kind of straight down. And although they don't look that flattering in a way they kind of do, like they're just so easy to just chuck on. So I got this one. Um, It literally just looks like a massive, massive rectangle of material but once it's on i'm hoping it will hold its shape quite nicely and be like a nice baggy fit um so it just looks like this it's got like a slight v-neck to it and then it's like black and white stripes giving parisian sort of vibes some nice black sandals cute little crossbody bag maybe like a slick bun or just like a nice like floaty why is the hairstyle floaty i'm not sure but like i am trying to explain the vision i have in my head for this and i'm not explaining it very well but maybe like some loose bouncy curls or something i'm imagining an april spritz in hand with this i think that could work really well so maybe going out for like a cute little Italian lunch date in the sunshine or for some Spanish tapas or any other cuisines are also available. I think that can be quite cute and it's a really nice material as well. It's quite a thick like ribbed material. You could layer up underneath it so if it's a little bit chilly you can pop something on underneath. 
this is also really random but like you could also wear this if you were going to the beach and you wanted to wear like a bikini underneath to go swimming this is like the perfect dress for that because you could get changed underneath it and no one would know it's like one of those wearable towels but it's a dress so you can like walk around and get cute ice cream afterwards and look really nice and put together but really you've got your swimming costume on underneath in case you want to take a dip in the sea because if you've seen my weekly vlogs we all know i have an urge to go in the sea whenever i'm near it so this is literally like the perfect dress for me um I really don't know what to go with. I'm really struggling this haul. Like, I just want to show you everything right now and I don't really know why I'm having such an issue. We'll go with these next. I'm not going to dwell on these too much because I've literally shown a pair of trousers like this in the past, like, two Zara hauls, I think. But they're these metallic jeans that are super on trend at the moment. And Zara keep coming out with, like, different variations of different pairs. So I thought I'd get these. And, like, these are literally so, like, flat-packed and rigid. This feels like when you've gone to school and you've had a sandwich for your lunch and your mum's wrapped it in tinfoil and then you've, like, folded it really precisely afterwards to like put it in the bin or whatever or bring it home that is literally what this feels like like it's literally so structured and rigid but they're basically like these kind of white colored jeans but the majority of them are covered in this like silver paint there's just like a little bit kind of around the pockets where you can see the kind of um like jeans still do you know what i mean like on the back there as well you can still kind of see the jeans and i don't know what it is about these alien looking tin foil i look like a baked potato about to go in the oven and be topped with beans and cheese or any other topping i don't know what it is about these trousers but i absolutely love them and i'm like a magpie like i'm literally gravitated towards them whenever i see them and i really like the shape of these ones they're the boy boy fits they're kind of just like a masculine straight leg jean and i just love them these ones feel like the most structured out of all of them like they are literally like so flat they're kind of like cartoon trousers but i actually really like these i feel like styled the right way i mean you could end up looking like one of those um sun reflectors that people put in their windscreens but if you saw them the right way they could look really cool and i've talked about them way too long now so we are going to move on guys i'm actually not joking i cannot get these trousers on because the bottom bit of this foot i don't know if you can see my bum is literally hanging out the back of these i've just realized as well so i'm not going to turn around the bottom bit of these trousers is literally still like seamed up i think because they've like basically I think these trousers are like white jeans with silver paint put on top of them because they are so like stiff and rigid and I think that's from that and I think the paint has basically like stuck the bottom of these trousers together so like I've got my foot through this one there we go my foot's free there I literally cannot get it through this one like it is literally stuck so I can't find a triangle clip for these because I literally cannot get them on my body which is such a fail and that is also so bad like I literally cannot get them on also they do have buttons they're not a zip thing they're like four different buttons and I absolutely hate trousers like that like having to do up so many buttons every time you put them on or go to the toilet is so annoying so that was a big like downfall for me anyway but also the fact I can't even get them on zero out of ten absolutely rubbish and we're gonna move on to this black piece of material which from memory let me just double check because i ordered this a while ago ah yes okay it is a dress not how exactly how i remembered it but it's a dress nonetheless so it's this black like kind of poplin sort of style like uh, material and then it's just got like this cutout detail in the middle so it's like a v-neck dress and then it elasticates um on the waist and then it kind of goes out and then on the back it's like split so it's got like an open back this is so difficult to see because black against black you can't really see so this will be easy to see on the trial clips but it's got like two cutouts on the front and then on the back it's got like one big cutout i got this one in an extra small and it's just such an easy dress to throw on i also think that this in white would look so nice for the summer so hopefully zara will bring that out um and also it's not too like revealing like i think would you be able to wear a bra with this actually potentially not i mean you'd have to maybe get a special bra but even though it's open back the open back is like on the lower bit here so you might there is a hair right in the middle of my face um you might be able to get like a certain bra that you could wear with it if you're like don't want to go braless which is quite handy although the black is not very spring summer it's a little bit morbid but on the other hand look what i have i have some color I got a pair of like pink trousers like this from Primark a couple of weeks ago. I did actually show them on my Primark haul and I really, really liked them. However, I then saw these on Zara and I ordered them to kind of like compare them. And these are so much nicer. These are £45.99. Oh no, they're not. They're £32.99. Um, and the Primark ones were £20. So these are a little bit more expensive, but I do kind of feel like you get what you pay for because the Primark ones weren't the best material. They did fit me really well, but they were just super, super basic. Whereas these have like this really lovely waistband detail which i really like and they also have this pleating detail down them so i just thought these were like 
a nicer pair of trousers and I'm more likely gonna wear them more in the long term. So although they're more expensive, I do feel like they're worth it. They also have like this pocket detail on the back and the only problem with these is they are too big for me. As per usual with most Zara trousers, these are just way too big for me around the waist. Whereas the Primark ones literally fit me perfectly, but I decided I'd just get these altered because these on a whole look much nicer. So it's kind of worth the extra effort of getting them altered and then being a little bit too big for me. But I just thought for the summertime, I don't know what it is about this baby pink color, but I'm obsessed with it in the moment. And for like spring and summer, maybe like a summer evening if it's a little bit cooler or like a cooler summer day, these are just like a white vest top or just like a really simple white top would just look so nice, especially with a tag. You could wear these on holiday. I just absolutely love the color of these. Even if you're like working in an office, these would be like a lovely like pop of color to wear in the springtime. I do not work in an office though. So I will probably be wearing these for like a little shopping day in Cambridge or something like that. And then talking of basic white tops, I picked up this one, which I got in a size small and it's kind of like a cross between a top and a sweatshirt because it's quite a thick kind of like sweatshirt material, but it's just this little like cropped boxy little short sleeve top super simple <laughs> super basic but literally gonna go with everything these with the silver trousers actually would look so nice like it's just such a perfect top like this with like high-waisted trousers would just look so good you could wear this with so much it's such a versatile piece like pieces like this are things I always buy and they're super boring but I always get my wear out of them I always like I was gonna say I always wear them but that is just repeating the same thing cost per wear as well like this is only 19.99 i am literally gonna wear this so much like it's just it kind of i've just looked at it and it's kind of just reminded me of like a school t-shirt you know like a little school polo neck but i'm gonna try and ignore that and forget that i just thought that i'd move on from that and then we have these another pair of zara beige wide leg trousers because i cannot resist them apparently but these are like a really floaty lightweight trouser these would have literally been perfect for when i was traveling southeast asia earlier on this year because they're so light and floaty but in a lot of those places like temples and stuff you have to have your legs covered up so if anybody is going to southeast asia or anywhere where you need to be covered up for like cultural reasons religious reasons or maybe you just get really bad sunburn and you need your legs covered these would literally be perfect because they are so lightweight like they're not going to be too hot on you and they're really really loose but they're these like super elasticated waist like whooshy swooshy like wide leg beige trousers they're kind of a bit like a a grey khaki beige as well. They're a little bit interesting. Um, they just go down like this. They've got pockets on them and these were 25.99. I got them in an extra small and they don't actually look too see-through to be fair. Although they're super like thin and lightweight, they don't look too see-through. And also these with like a little white bikini top with some like bikini cover-up trousers on the beach with like a cute little hat and maybe like a pina colada or something in hand. That would look so nice for an Instagram picture and also just look so nice in real life. I think these will be getting packed in my suitcase to go on holiday because these are just like the perfect like summer beachy lightweight trouser especially if you're like going to the beach but then you might want to pop into a supermarket on the way home or you want to go out for lunch or something these with like a little white bikini top like i said absolutely chef's kiss i am obsessed already i've not even tried them on yet and i'm obsessed and these are actually the last thing for this hour haul i feel like this was slightly chaotic the lighting every time i've looked at the viewfinder the lighting in this video has looked really weird and it's kind of thrown me off and kind of like really thrown me off course so apologies if i feel like this was a little bit of a chaotic zara haul i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless give this video a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you at some point soon in another video bye